crazy that happened hello welcome to the review of the elimination final after the blues beat the sydney swans 11 goals 874 to 9 goals 1468 in eventually a thriller at the mcg our first final with this group the moment the series the period of time that we've all been waiting for finally <laughs> we got to go to the mcg and watch them play a final and they won their first final very special what a day what a night my head is thumping at the moment doesn't matter <laughs> it just does not matter <laughs> uh, you know the week the lead up I wasn't really nervous I was very calm and I was kind of waiting for it to happen and for it to to get me and it really didn't hit me until well with respect to the game until I was actually watching it I got a bit of fiery in the morning, woke up calm on a Friday morning. Then I see old mates, Saints TV on the, uh, on the morning show. And I see this bloke, this absolute peanut of a thing, take his first moment of fame to talk about Carlton. We're on some good form, but for tonight, I'm tipping the Swannies to shake down the saliva from the sky. <laughs> oh, some controversial opinions there, boys. And that's in that moment, like I really fired up. It got me going. It got the, it, it started the domino effect. I also love how he's leaning back and really happy with himself. Oh, some controversial opinions there, boys. What an absolute wet wipe. Um, so that got me going. And then from there, the day was, was was just jittery. Couldn't sit still. Irrational thoughts, conversations, phone calls, just to kill the time. And then we finally, you know, get to the point where we're going to the MCG. You take your first steps. Yeah, and it was everything. It was it was everything I was hoping it would be. It was the whole atmosphere. Um I was mindful of what that would be like because it's the first final for a lot of people. And then really it's it's our, everyone's first final. Everyone involved, club, members, admin, everyone. Our first final together in this new era. And weirdly enough, 10 years on from the last time we actually appeared in the finals to the day on the 8th of September. If you had told me on that day that we would not be playing finals football for 10 years exactly, I would have said you were mad. Um, so get there nice and early. Get a couple of cupcakes from the besties. Do a bit of wandering. Speak to all the people. And then game time. And the crowd's energy before the game, after the national anthem was again exactly what i was hoping it would be and then i was very mindful of the period of time it would take for us to settle into the game you know being their first final watching the game the night before seeing the intensity and then also seeing how important it was to get the crowd involved so i was mindful of how long it would take us to do that <laughs> it looked easy for a minute doc had to be Doc, didn't it? Doc kicks our first goal in the finals campaign, followed by Charlie. I mean, you, you can't have... You, I struggle to find two names that get a crowd going with the goal more than those two. So that was the perfect start and got me calm. Maybe it was a, a false sense of security early in the game. I was very comfortable with how things were going. I thought we were defending at a very high level. We were putting scoreboard pressure on. And at one point, we were, you know, three, four, maybe even five goals up at, at, at certain points. Um, the Swans, hey man, listen, the Swans, love the Swans. 
all about the swans love what they're about and they're they're just tough they're just a tough team i respect them a lot and they really brought it back to level pegging and it looked at times that the swans just didn't have enough firepower forward of center we were relatively well matched in the midfield i thought our defenders were too much for their forwards um, but they just kept finding a way to make a game of it. Um, I felt a lot for, for big periods of time, the game was on the Swans uh, sort of... The game was on the Swans terms, but because we were defending so well, we were mitigating any damage. And, you know, that reinforcement of how important your defense is came to light, you know, the game was not as free flowing as a regular season game. Every moment is heightened, more gravity. It's it all kind of just zeroes into each moment, each play. Um, and we started. I mean, we were winning, and we were making a few errors, which at the time I wasn't worried about. But as the game went on, I started thinking we might we might be made to pay for some of these errors. Harry Mackay hits the post from two meters out. He misses from 10, 12 meters out. Um, there was the always handball over the top to Charlie, which was a goal in the end, but just little moments like that, I was thinking, okay, this is just us figuring it out. This is part of that process of figuring it out. I think there was a moment on the goal line late in the game with Kemp and TDK, and they didn't want to rush it over because it would be deliberate, but they kept it in play, but they turned it over. And so <clears throat> all of these things were happening and, by the end of the game, I wasn't sure if we were going to be made to really pay for them with the with the result. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Um, I thought I thought uh, the second half it was a bit of a blur. I can't wait to watch the replay ten times. But I thought the the second half went for ages, and it was a bit of a blur. I felt that I mean the Swans came out after half time put some scoreboard pressure on, made a game of it. And then we had uh, a bit of a, a bit of a settler, Jack Martin, Adam Chera with some big moments. And then it just felt like we were holding on <laughs> in, in some respects. Like the game was, was in control. We were defending the ground very well. Um, but it just seemed like we didn't have the numbers ahead of the ball. The later the game got, we lose Harry to, I believe at the time of filming this, it was a concussion. He was out. He was not He was not conscious. He was not with us, um, which is really sad to see. So we know we're going to miss him. Um, but yeah, that fourth quarter was quintessential finals football. You know, we, we got a little bit ahead and then we had to, we had to showcase it with our defense to, to win the game and, and then take moments forward of center when they presented it. And, it was glorious when that final siren went. The beauty of it was I think Newman took a mark late in the game uh, just before the final siren. So there was a bit of a, a precursor. like You knew what was coming. And then the final siren goes, I'm sitting next to my brother who I was with 10 years ago to the day. And I remember at the time, 10 years ago, like he, he was very young, not quite into footy, but he started getting into it from that moment. Then he had a period of time where he just didn't care we were awful and now I think that that memory there is the one that might bring him back um, and that's what it was it was a very special memory that's that's what last night was it was the one that we've been waiting for I mean it's only the beginning of this new era um, but the first one is so special and now we find ourselves in this period of time where it's all new like we don't have last year to draw on because last year and the year before there was nothing like this. So I think the first time you make the final series with the group is, is, you know, incredibly special to document it is really special. And these memories will now last a lifetime. No matter what happens, we'll remember that one. You know, where were you when, when they finally played finals for the first time and won a final. And I think that can't be understated. Um, their ability to embrace the moment given the, the build-up, because we, I mean, the fans, and I mean, the, the mainstream do it as well, but like, you know, the, Carlton's such a draw card of of attention. 
you know, we really, we really just make the story about us all the time. And you look at these, you look at these St. Kilda wet wipes, you know, going on national television and, and using their moment, their moment to talk about Carlton and, and try and, and throw some shade at Carlton unsolicited. So it, that's what makes it more impressive that we were able to withstand that and still get the performance that we wanted. And, you know, on to next week, play the D's, a pissed off Melbourne after the way that they lost on Thursday night, a, a really good Melbourne who are not quite at their best at times, but when they do play at their best, they're very dangerous and that can't be understated. And it's just, you know, dare to dream. Like it's, it's, it really is like that. Who says we can't win next week? We might, we might not, but I'm just here for it, here for the ride, here to stay as present as possible and 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 you know enjoy whatever comes our way because it's a it's so unique to be able to say I'm so proud of this team or I'm so proud of this club because I haven't been for so long <laughs> I've been disappointed for so long so to have something with real gravity and some real weight behind it and a real story uh, is the best that's what it is my player of the game i think it was cottrell i really do there was, i mean it's it's hard to individualize but you know you've got to vote for someone i just loved his game i love what blake acres was was able to do um could tell he was sore the way he was carrying that shoulder arm collarbone whatever the case was um feel for harry just it was there was the frustration at Harry, and then there was the 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 realization of like, it's Harry and he's knocked out, so we're going to be missing him. Uh, Jack Martin, I'm not sure how that one plays out. When I watched the replay, I I believe it was just careless. I mean, he's going as hard as he possibly can. He hits, I forget who it was. He he did, you know, make connection with the face, but it wasn't damaging. Thankfully for for Blakey, I think it was. So, um, yeah, um, I'm patiently waiting to see how those ones play out. Um, and, and like we said last week, it's finals. We're going into this new season. Things are going to happen, whether it's injury suspension, like they're going so hard. So that's why it's important to have a healthy list and a deep list to, to choose from this time of the year. Uh, so that was great. And that's that. That was... That was Carlton winning their first final. After 10 years, we waited. And just like that, they did it. I love it. I love every single bit of it. All of it. Wouldn't change a thing. And there's still so much more to come. They're, they're going to get better. They're, go, they're going to get used to that style of play, that finals intensity, and they're going to thrive. I have such faith in what they're capable of. What about you? Tell me everything about your experience with that game, the whole lot. What comes to mind? We'll chat about it in the comments and go from there. Go the blues, mate. Come on. <laughs>